Hi there, and welcome to this video on transformations of the complex plane. This is just an initial video where I just want to give you an idea of the concept. So transformations of the complex plane are when points on the z-plane map to points on the w-plane by applying a formula relating the complex number z equals x plus iy to the complex number w equals u plus iv. Now to demonstrate this, I've got this example here. As I say, it's a very basic example, but I just want to uh, run through this so that you get an overall idea. Now I've got the point P that represents the complex number Z on an argon diagram where the modulus Z equals 1 and Z equals X plus IY. What we've got to do is sketch the locus of a point Q under the transformation W equals 3Z where W equals U plus IV. Now if we take an argon diagram drawn in, say, the Z plane, let's say it looks something like this. Now what I've done is I've tried to draw this in three dimensions rather than looking at it just in two dimensions. So we've got it slightly tilted, this plane here. And we've got the modulus of Z equals 1. And we should be familiar with the locus of the modulus of z equaling 1, it represents a circle of radius 1. So this circle here, any point on it is given by p. And the coordinates of this circle at these extreme points, this is going to be 1, 0, this one's going to be 0, 1, this one here is going to be minus 1, 0, and this point here is going to be 0, minus 1. So how do we go about then sketching the locus of this point Q under the transformation W equaling 3Z? Well, if we know that the modulus of Z equals 1 and W equals 3Z, then if I take the modulus to both sides, we've therefore got the modulus of W must equal the modulus of 3Z. Now this is equal to the modulus of 3 multiplied by the modulus of Z. When you get a product and you've got a modulus over a product, it's the same as the individual moduli of each value. So what's the modulus of 3? Well, that's just simply 3. And the modulus of z, well, that is 1. And so you've got 3 times 1, which is 3. So the modulus of w equals 3. And this has got to be a circle, a circle of radius 3. So what I've got here is the w plane where W is any complex number given by U plus IV. And so if we were to draw a circle here where the centre was the origin, we've got that this represents the locus of any point Q. Q equaling U plus IV. And we can illustrate this by taking any point on here and it maps to a corresponding point on this circle here. The transformation then is W equals 3Z. And we see that these points here are 3, 3, minus 3, minus 3 down here. A circle then of radius 3 units. So what is the transformation in this particular case? Well, it's an enlargement, scale factor 3, center 0, 0. And this is always the case. We have this general definition that if w equals a constant k times z, then it represents an enlargement, scale factor k, center the origin where k is greater than 0. I'd also like to take this a bit further 
by showing you how certain points on this circle relate to corresponding points on this circle. And we can do this by way of a grid, okay, where we take our complex number z, look at the components x and y, and work out what the corresponding value for w would be. So for instance, if x was, say, at this point here, x would be 1, y would be 0. This point here, this would be the point with coordinates 0, 1. This one, minus 1, 0, and this one, 0, minus 1. If we put those points in, OK, so what do we get for z? Well, z, remember, equals x plus iy. So for the first one, z is going to be here, just purely a real number, the real number 1. But when x is 0 and y is 1, this point here, what we get is z equals i. And for minus 1, 0, we just get the real number minus 1. And for 0, minus 1, this point here, we get the complex number minus i. Now, w equals 3 times z. So if z is 1, 3 times that is going to give us 3. 3 times i is 3i. 3 times minus 1 is minus 3. And 3 times minus i is minus 3i. And we can see that when z equals 1, w equals 3. So when z is at this point here, we've got w being at this point here. And similarly, as z moves round to this point here, you see that w moves to this point here, 0, 3. In other words, at 3i. And this happens all the way round. As z moves round this circle, starting from here, w moves round this circle and ends back up here. So I hope that's given you an introduction anyway to transformations of the complex plane. In my other videos, I'll give you a few more common transformations. Then we'll dive into some much harder problems. So if you found this useful, hopefully you'll carry on looking at the other videos in this series.